Caller, are you there? I'm on Bourbon Street, and this man is stabbing another man. But everybody's watching. Okay, where are the suspects now? He's leaving. He's leaving now. Okay, listen to me. Somebody needs to get a clean, dry cloth. It can be a t-shirt. It can be a hoodie. Or right, put something on where he is stabbed at and to apply pressure, okay? We're getting help on the way out there. Please, this man's life is in danger. I'm headed out with Joe and Titus for a male that was stabbed. I don't know if I miss the French Quarter shenanigans or if I'm already over <laughs> New Orleans going back to the typical New Orleans. Did we have a code four on Bourbon yet? PD is on scene and they have an apprehension. Let me see if the scene is code four. 10 four. The thing about stabbings, man, they either bad or they ain't. At least they're close to the triangle, son. Stabbings are just like gunshots. It's like a hole in your body. Your body's not meant to be poked. It can hit an artery, it can hit a vein, you will bleed out and die. We take all stabbings very seriously. Man, this is like Mardi Gras. Uh, this is wild. Oh, there are some people out here. All right, that's who's going. A handle of an umbrella? Yeah. All right, you want to go to the hospital, yeah? I just want to get checked out. Coming through, coming through. He says it was the handle of an umbrella right here. Oh. Damn. Yeah, something happened to him. Yeah, that's a puncture one. Yeah. He's an activation. Let's get him on a stretcher, and let's get him going. Even though it may not look that bad, tip of an umbrella can be pretty long. So he could be bleeding into his chest cavity or he could have a punctured lung. So it's imperative that we get him off this scene as quick as we can and get him to the trauma center. This is his dog? That is his dog. I don't know what we're gonna do with the dog. The dog barked at me as soon as I walked up. Is your dog chill or is your dog aggressive? Uh, she's not aggressive. Honestly. She, she will get freaked out if she gets separated from me. That's why I don't know if I should go in or not. I mean, look, if she's chill, then we'll take her with you. We won't leave her here. We'll take her to the hospital. But if she is aggressive, I'm telling you, I don't know what they're going to do with her. She's chill. She's All right, we'll take her with you. We don't typically like to take animals unless they're service animals because these dogs are usually very protective of their owners. And here we are touching all over him, providing care to him. And this dog could snap at any one of us at any minute. But in a crowd of people like this, we really don't have much of a choice. Let's get you up on a stretcher, my man. And we're going to put her in your lap, all right? OK, hold on. I know. Have a seat right here. Come here. Have a seat. Come here. Hey, come here. All back. Come all here. Back. Come here. Come here. Can you call her up there? Yeah, Rosie, up up. Come on. Hop up. Come on. Yeah, hop up. There you go. Well, I've never been as close to a dog before in my life. You cool with riding this one, or you want me to do it? Man, you got it, because I ain't going ain't gonna to be bought them dogs. Hey, look, hold, make sure the dog don't fall off, all right? Years ago, I went on a bad call and got bit by a dog. So ever since that, boy, I'm straight. I'm too pretty to get bit, man. You going to start in that line, Holly? I got you, fam. I don't want to have a needle or So they're going to have to because you have a puncture one, and it's going to be quick, though. I'm better than the nurses, I promise. Yeah. I would let her do it if I was you, man. Right. One, two, three, boom, that's it. Done. Right, See? No, so fast. Hey, look, 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 I need you to breathe. I want to check out your lung sounds, all right? Deep breaths. Lung sounds are clear, T? Yeah, they're clear. He's clear. All right. Disregard. All right, guys. Thank you, Holly. Be careful. Uh, I'm putting a mask on me. I don't know. 6249, show to the trauma center. One patient, you show me clear. Lung sounds are clear. You got an IV. We're getting that pressure. Try to hold this arm still, all right? I hate these, too. I just hate the hospital. Well, man, you know, sometimes it kind of got to go, especially when you get stabbed in the back with an umbrella. 
His heart rate is a little elevated, but he's anxious as well. So I'm not too concerned about that at this time. We just need to keep him calm and get him to the hospital where he can be properly assessed by a physician. Hey, Rosie. Rosie Rose. I got a little poodle named Yoda. Hey, Rosie. In a way, the dog is actually, you know, helping me do my job. She seems to be a calming mechanism for him in this hectic situation that he's got going on. To ease your mind a little bit, all your vitals are checking out great, OK? So your heart's beating a little fast. It's like 140, but you just got stabbed with an umbrella and all this is going on. You know, I'd be anxious, too. I got a call at a district station. Someone from your scene bit by a dog at the Quest EMS to check him out. I'm in row. We are headed back into the French Quarter, going to the police station for a male that was bit by a dog. I'm thinking maybe the dog that bit this guy who stabbed his owner. So that would be wild, but. My ESPN is telling me, you know, that that's what's going on. You know, I'm sure. Dog bites can be brutal. Not only are they penetrating, but they can also grab so much muscle and tissue, and they can actually rip that, you know, right off the bone. So that's one of those ones where you don't know what to expect. This is it, dog bite. He's inside. 6249 on scene. Is yeah. this the perpetrator from the 34C? This is the perpetrator. So he got bit by Rosie. He got bit by dog. Hi. Where'd you get bit at? On my legs. On your legs? Can I see? Sure, sure. Can I open the door? Yeah, I can open it. So where'd you get bit? On my legs, uh, right here by my knee, or by my uh, calf, or my ankle, and then on this side. By Just my, this one right here that you can feel? On this side by my calf, toward, up towards the knee about halfway, right there on the right side. OK, yeah, you got a couple and I, and little nips. I can definitely see, you know, a few little nips, but no real penetrating bite marks. There's no, you know, bleeding. There's nothing that's going to require stitches or anything like that. So he's in pretty good shape. OK, so you want to go to the hospital? If I'm going to drill, if they can fix this up at the drill, then, like, just take him in the drill. If, if they're not, if... I mean, I'm not seeing anything that needs stitches. Yeah. Of course, you can always get, like, a tetanus yeah, shot. Really Do you know when your last tetanus was? I'm up to date on my tetanus. You're up to date on your tetanus. Yeah. OK, you don't have to go to the hospital if you don't feel like you need to. Yeah. He may need some shots. He may need some antibiotics. You know, he could definitely use, like, a good scrubbing to this. But other than that, you know, there's no real significant treatment that he needs. I think this is something he could definitely take care of on his own. No, I don't want that dog to be put down. No, no, OK. I don't, I don't know if I have any control over that. Yeah. But I, I really, the dog's a good dog. Okay. It just has the sh on it. OK. All right, well, he doesn't have anything that needs stitches. It's all like nips and swelling and stuff like that. But he doesn't want to go to the hospital. OK. All right, and if you guys need us, just call us back, all right? All right, thank you. Good deal. Yeah, be careful. The dog, being protective of his owner, nipped this guy a couple of good times. And that dog could have done a lot more damage than what he did. 6249, clear with a patient refusal. But I can't imagine, like, you know, being a tourist, like, on Bourbon Street and just seeing, like, two people fight and somebody get stabbed with an umbrella and somebody get attacked by a dog. You know, like, that's, that's wild. That's, you know, that's New Orleans. Whew. My gut never steers me wrong. Safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. Ransom <sighs> the knife. Ransom the knife. They're not dead. I can work with that. 